Creating resources in Godot using C Sharp is a little bit different than the way we do it with GD Script. So let's take a look at those differences. To start off with, it's the same. We're going to right click. We'll create a new script. We're going to call it player. We want to make sure it's C Sharp and we're going to inherit from resource. We got both our lines green down here. We'll hit create and let's open this up inside of Visual Studio Code. Now I'm going to make a real simple one here. It's just going to have nothing but a few fields in it. So I have a string field for name, one for ID, and well, we have a float here for the rating. We're gonna make sure this is saved off and then we'll jump back into Godot. Now, if this was a GD script resource, we could just hit new resource, start looking for it. It's not there. Uh, alternatively, we can also come up here, hit the little plus button, does the same thing. Uh, it's not there, but that's okay. What we can do is just create a basic resource. So whatever the root is here, resource, we'll hit create. And that'll make it for us, but notice that we have a field here called script. We can take our script, add it, hit the build, and now we actually have our resource. Now we do still need to save it. So I'm gonna come up here to the little save icon. We'll hit it, save, call it whatever you want. And there we go. We now have a resource we can use in our project that's uh, written in C Sharp.